Well, everyone, it's Europa League final time. It's a massive game. Champions League football on the line for next season. We're playing Spurs. Can we get over the line? And can we get ourselves in the Champions League for next season? Let's find out. I'm just going to get straight into the game, everyone. So here is the lineup for today's Europa League final in Hungary at the Pushkas Arena against Tottenham. So... What we've done is, is we only really made one real change, I would say. Calvert-Lewin is starting over Vitinha this time. But what we've done is, is um, Marrera is starting on the right-hand side over, yep, over Ryan Kent, over Damari Gray, over a not fully fit Anthony Gordon. CDK is in for Delhi, And uh, otherwise it's as you were. No sentimentality here. No send-off in a big final for Coleman. We will try and get him on if we can, but otherwise we go with Nathan Patterson, who has had a really, really good second season here for us. And it's Decore and Tolisso making up the rest of the midfield with the Charleston on the left and the back four, like I said, with Patterson, then Godfrey, Schlotterbeck and Mikalenko, kind of as you would expect, really. We've had a, a fairly sort of decent build-up to this game, literally up until our last game where we got smashed 4-0 away at Arsenal, which was a real shambolic game, really quite poor from us, so yeah. Um, not ideal prep up until then we'd actually been playing really really well I think we'd beaten like Leeds we'd beaten we drew with Wolves 0-0 after the penalties against Benfica then we beat Newcastle Leeds and that might have been it actually might have been it but yeah and then uh, we play Leicester in the next game where um... <sighs> if we if we lose this, we'll need to get the win against Leicester to get ourselves into Europa League, hopefully. Because if we win, we'll finish above Leicester because we're on 59 points down 62, but our goal difference is so much better. But, uh, yeah, if we win this, it's Champions League football for next season. Now, we've played Spurs, what, five times? We touched on last time and we've beaten them four times out of that. So... I've not really asked the lads to do anything special, anything different this time. We're just going straight in. So this is on a yellow card already. That's not great. He's... He has kind of established himself as our go-to deep-line playmaker, to be fair. Tom Krause has done well, but Tolisso is just a little bit more mature and just a bit better rounded at the moment. Richarlison, oh, well caught out by Decore. CDK, come on, drive. Mikalenko, oh. Yes, yeah, Super Ben, yes, yes, yes. Mikalenko feeds Richarlison. Richarlison. What can he do? Plays it back to Mikalenko. Not the pass I would have gone for myself, but... Good effort. Good effort. We'll take that. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, boys. Build the offense. Marrera Jr. swings it. That's a poor free kick. Yeah, we went with him. Um, two reasons, really. He's played really well when he's played. To be fair, he's looked quite lively. But also... He's got a decent left foot on him for corners, for set-piece delivery, and I just wanted someone just to whip in some decent corners from that right-hand side because I love an in-swinging corner. And his delivery's better than Mikalenko's and CDK's. So, Plus, CDK is quite tall, so I want him in the box. All day, all day. We don't mind that. That can go over all the time. Oh, what a ball. Here is Moreira Jr. What can he do? Brings it down well. Feeds to Corey. To Corey shot. That was a good chance, that. That was a really good chance. How are we all looking? What's that? Oh, composed. And Mik Mikolenko is motivated. Okay. CDK. That's too close to the keeper. 
or either no one was attacking it enough. Well won, yes. Look at this, straight back at them. Feeds it through. Oh, I was going to say, was he offside? He did look like he was offside. Eh. Oh, that's a great, that's a great block. That's a really good interception that just to stop Harry Kane getting the ball. I'll take that. We'll take that. My heart always goes in my mouth whenever I see a foul given for something like like that. Because I always think, oh, as our player like pushed them and we're gonna give away a penalty. Yes. <gasps> oh Deleso! What a goal! What a goal! What a well worked lo love love it. Absolutely love it. Look at it. CDK, Mikolenko, Tolisso, touch, bang. Yes. I'll just keep switched on now. I mean, we might have to take him off, to be fair, because he's tired and he's on a yellow and a red card would cripple us, obviously. But, you know, such a big game against such tough opposition. All day. All day. Take that now. Just uh, slow it down. Slow it down for now. Lovely. Oh, yes. 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 Nah. For once, he didn't try and chip him. To, to be fair, that board would have probably actually been the better option. Nice. Mm. <sighs> mm. Oh, oh. <sighs> Oh yeah, an update on the striker situation. Luca has got his uh, work permit. Managed to uh, managed to get his work permit at the second time of asking. All day we'll take that. Nice, 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 nice. Second half time. I've asked Tolisso to uh, be careful, <laughs> and I also accidentally told my defenders that they'd been woeful. Unintentional. I've done that a lot, unfortunately. I go on defenders, and the first thing it says is you've been woeful. Um, and it's just I'm just I just hurry and I just press it, and I mean to say, you played really well. <laughs> I tell them they've been awful. Oh, that was a great little delivery from Moreira as well. Considering it was an outswinger, and I usually prefer an inswinger. Nearly got lucky with a. <gasps> yes, Schlotterbeck! <coughs> yes 2-0 another corner is it Godfrey oh no it just went straight into the far post and Schlotterbeck just bulleted it in yes well done 2-0 just what we want just what we want nice and early doors right I'm not going to take any chances we're going to take Tolisso off for Mr. Tom Krause No, I want to get Coleman on if we can. And then it's, do we bring on Delhi against this old club? Or do we bring on Vitinha? Just because. I think we go for sentimentality. Delhi's done well for us against Spurs as well, to be fair, over, over his time with us so far. Okay. 
Delhi is going to come on. Oh, Anthony Gordon as well. Would like to get Anthony Gordon on. But he's just not fit enough, and we've got to get. He'll have other chances, but this is Coleman's like last big game for us before he retires and takes up a coaching role at the club. Um, yeah. Oh, what a touch from Richarlison. Great touch. Great touchdown. Oh, Marrera. Nearly. Right, Patterson, you can come off. Bring on Coleman for the last 30 minutes or whatever. Just under 30 minutes. Nice. Nice. Unlucky. 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 Should probably be tapped. Just realised he'll be st still slowing the ball, slowing the pace down. Oh, imagine. It's the post. It's the inside of the post. It seems to absolutely fly out as well. I don't know if it came off Larice on the way out. Yeah, Marrera Jr. is on loan, and we have an option to buy him for like 3.3 mil or something, So, and we will be activating that. This is his... Uh, I don't know how well you can see. I know my face is in the way, but th these are some of his some of his attributes. His pace is 14. It's gone up. Stamina and strength are 12 each, and natural fitness is 15. And yeah, 3.3 million we can get him for as part of our loan agreement, and we will definitely be bringing him in. Just got to hold on for, what, 15 minutes? Coleman off the bench gives away a penalty. It was always going to be a penalty. And it's going to be Harry Kane stepping up to take it. And you're going to back him to score, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Right. Just calm it down, everyone. Calm it down. Just to take the sting out of everything, okay? That would have been one way to take the sting out of it, to be fair. Yes. Oh, come on, Calvert-Lewin. I'd be interested to see what Luca can do next year. I think we will sell. If, it, if a team comes in with a decent bid for Calvert-Lewin, we will sell him. Because it would really go some way to help him correct the club's debt as well. I think I'm wrong. He's got like 20 odd goals or something this season, I think. But not as many as last year. And he definitely could get a lot more. Squeaky bum time now. That's okay. Let them do that. Five minutes of added time. No stupid fouls. What is that? What is that? Talk about giving them, literally giving them a chance to create. That comes from Pickford giving the ball away. That come, all comes from Pickford giving the ball away. Literally just gave the ball straight back to them and they go and score. How many chances? <gasps> what? what? Why? Why? Why would you take A so long to shoot? Ugh. 
So after one miss too many, he'd be taking Calvert-Lewin off and we put Fatini on. So we get that extra sub and extra time. Right, I now need to s correct um, what I changed. Well, everyone, this game's had everything. What a ball. Crosses. <clears throat> nice. Nice. <gasps> yes! <laughs> it's that man. It's Marrera Jr. Morera! <sighs> right, we're not... We're not going to completely sit back on our laurels, though, like we did. We made that mistake last time. If we got a bit too twitchy, we tried to shut up shop, and it just let them in. Fire them up a little bit to get hopefully try and get them through. Get them through their tired legs. Kraus feeds it to Deli. Vitinha! Two goal lead is restored. And we're just gonna keep going. We're not we're not last time we tried to park the bus, they just smashed straight through it. Oh he hits the bar. Marrera on those free kicks is lethal. What's his free kick taking actually at 11? And he's really good. <laughs> the only thing I'm going to do is just slow the tempo down a bit. This is a lot of tired legs. Yes, to Corey. Marrera. Go on, Seamus. Yes. Crosses. Oh, Bettini makes it 5 2. Seamus Coleman on the assist. Hot damn. And it looks a lot more comfortable now than it kind of has been, really. I mean, to be fair, up until Coleman gave away the penalty, it was very comfortable. Now Spurs have got seven minutes to try and score three goals. And I would be disgusted if they managed it. They only managed to get one. Inspired performance from Vitinha off the bench. Two goals in extra time. Inspired. Him and Luca will be our go-to strikers next season. Well, although to be fair, clubs are swirling for Vitinha, to be fair. I think he's currently valued about 53 mil. And uh, obviously this performance will have done no f no harm in his value. And that's it. That's the win. <laughs> that is the win. And it calls, calls for... Absolute Zealand banger, this. It's another trophy. Three trophies in two seasons. We did it. Champions League football next season. 
And the board have given us our initial budgets for next season, a massive increase on last season from like 30 odd mil up to 52 mil. They've got about 200k to play around in the wage budget as well. Let's see what the club finances are looking like at the moment. Overall balance is 100,000, that's so bad. What's the debt like? 25 mil of transfer debt, 538 mil of net debt. That's so, so bad. So, so bad. How, what's the biggest? So a lot of it we'll get back if the if a chairperson leaves. Wow. Wow. That looks so dodgy, doesn't it? When you look at it. A gift loan from the chairperson. Which they'll pay back if they leave. That looks dodge. Made three hundred and ten million this season. Turnover of two hundred and four mil. Less so, smaller turnover than last season, even though we've made more money. That might change, to be fair, though, once the end of season rolls around. We get competition prize money. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this is the table now. As you can see, sat in seventh. And now we can go out and play Leicester. Now, to be fair, no, I don't want to, I don't want us to finish below Wolves. Who are Wolves playing on last day of the season? Spurs. <laughs> Spurs are playing Spurs last day of the season. Yeah, I don't want us to finish lower than seventh. I, really, I want to win. I want to finish sixth. Sixth is an improvement on last season. Even though we've got less points, we finished seventh last season on 67. And this season, we can finish sixth on 62. And uh, get that. Just that higher positional finish. Oh, this is brilliant. This is absolutely hilarious. Look at Arsenal and Chelsea. Oh, actually, no, sorry. Yeah, they one of their... It's, I thought they'd been demoted out of the, the, the Champions League for some reason, even though I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen now. I'm pretty sure you just get the extra spot. Um, but it's because it's still up in the air as to who's going to finish up there. So I'm going to go and play the Leicester game, everyone, and I'll see you for next season when we roll on into the Champions League. What sort of squad can we assemble? Turnover-wise, I think... I mean, there's already interest in a few of our players. Ryan Kent's wanted by Southampton. I can't see them being able to offer us what we want from him. He's had a really good season, considering he's got the inconsistent trait. 17 assists and 12 goals was really good going. Richarlison, 15 goals, 11 assists. Calvert-Lewin, 8 and 21. Not great. Marrera Jr., look at that, though, in six starts. 13 sub-appearances. Five goal, uh, five assists, two goals. Damari Gray's done all right. We might look to let him go, to be fair, if the, if the right offer comes in. Uh, he wants a new contract, but we may well actually look to move him on. He's got 26. He could get 21 mil for him. He's 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 okay, He's but he's certainly not brilliant. Um, obviously, we've got a few players joining. Daniel Ballard is joining as backup in defence. He looks really good. He's just got really good uh, player traits. He was consistent. Um, trains well. Good improvements. Good, deep, good, layer, good player for this division. Enjoys big matches. He's just a really good player just to have it in around the squad. Um, Thierry Small, I would be tempted to try and sign him. He's not happy with the amount of playing time he's been given, but he, he's a decent-ish player. Um, and he, he would go towards a homegrown club status, potentially. Um, but we'll see. He's going to probably demand, like, command quite a high transfer fee from Southampton. Yeah, Vitinho, as you touched on, is wanted by 11 clubs. Wanted by a lot of big clubs, to be fair. Um, Calvert-Lewin is wanted by Arsenal and Spurs. Anthony Gordon's wanted by Sevilla. He's staying put. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ah. Look at this. Europa League trophy. Carabao Cup. We'll take that. We'll have that all day. We'll have that all day. Three trophies in, what, two seasons? What's our reputation like? Three and a half stars. 70%. Attributes tactical, 20. Motivating, 20. Play knowledge, 20. I didn't give myself those attributes. They've just developed. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes. Let's go. Last time we played Leicester, we beat them, which was in the semi final. Ryan Kent leading the way with most assists. Calvert Lewin and Vettini on 21 goals each. And Vettini's done it in like a fraction of the games as well fraction of the games if we look at his 23 and 15 33 and 10 
He's got less assists, but I'm sorry, he's in the team to score goals. So, oh, right, I've waffled on for long enough now, everyone. I will see you at the start of the new season. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think we should do transfer-wise. Um, any players you want me to take a look at, anything like that, just give me a shout. Drop it down in your comments and below. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, everyone. Take care. Bye.